Okay, hi, I'm JMO from Xcase in the UK at www.xcase.co.uk. Please take the time to take a look at our website. Today I'm going to look at a system that we do. It's a 2U hot swap dual processor system. We call it the 208D Pro. Now this uses a chassis that we import and distribute throughout the UK. It's a 2U Pro chassis. It has eight hot swap uh, front loading caddies and there's a choice of hard drives to um, add to it on the website. We install two 120 gig SSD drives. These are 6 gig and uh, connect to the motherboard 6 gig uh, SATA 3 connections. The drives are connected to a back plane and two cables go from the back plane directly into an LSI 9260 uh, X, um, a RAID card, sorry, it's a RAID card that will do RAID 5, RAID 6, 10, 50 etc. And as I said, just connected by two cables to control the eight drives. Now the back plane itself has got a chip in it which supports features from the RAID card which will identify drives. It will give um, drive prediction warnings through a number of flashes on the front here, on the caddies. And it'll also just show normal drive activity. If you've got a failed or failing drive, then it will let you know. Nice and easy if you've got a drive that's failed and you want to know which one it is, you just go, oh yeah, it's that one. So fitted with a <coughs> Tyan and sometimes a Supermicro dual processor E5 motherboard with two E5 uh, processors. This particular one's two E5 quad cores, but you can do a six or eight core now. We've got four memory banks. This customer's got two times eight gig on each one, given a total of 64 gig. But you could fill it up with eight gigs for 128 or even double that with 16 gigs now to 256. This one's fitted with a 2U redundant power supply. If it's um, before December 2012, it'll be a Zippy. If it's after December 2012, it'll be an FSP unit. The fans on the system are hot swap. They pop in and out. That's simply if they fail that you uh, you want to be able to replace them easily. And I'll start the system up. Now these fans are temperature controlled. There's a cable that goes from a PCB under them under them that goes directly to the motherboard. and then the motherboard BIOS controls the speed of them. You're going to hear a lot of noise when it first starts up with them going full whack and then they'll slow down shortly afterwards to reduce the noise level.
there we go so that's reduced the noise quite considerably now if one of the fans fails the system will soon let you know and as you've got here you've got blue power lights which will flicker away with activity and above them there's an amber one which will give you warnings So, as I said, this is configurable on our website. You can choose the amount of memory, the hard drive types and sizes, and we'll build it up, test it, update any firmware on any of the cards or drives, and ship it out to you. So, that's it. Thanks for listening. Bye now.